He looks and sounds such a terribly English prince as William, Arthur, Philip, Louis, Mountbatten, Windsor. That, of course, is with a hyphen in the middle. But the British royal family's real family origins aren't homegrown at all. The House of Windsor, as they now choose to call themselves, actually derives from the marriage of Queen Victoria, who was German, last in line of the Hanoverian royal family. In 1840, she married Prince Albert, son of the Duke of saxe coburg gotha which is also in Germany, as if you hadn't guessed. That recent Oscar-winning British film, The King's Speech, is all about one of Albert's descendants, also called Albert, but with a very bad speech impediment. He was the younger son of King George V, and when his father died, Albert was never likely to take over. That right went to his elder brother, who became King Edward VIII, but only for a short while, because he'd fallen in love with a divorced American lady called Wallace Simpson, and after less than a year, he decided to give up the throne to marry her instead. So poor old Albert stammered his way into the job, and even changed his name to George VI in order to sound, well, a bit less German. These days, there's nothing particularly wrong with being German, but it's very awkward indeed when Germany and Britain have been at war. Twice in the 20th century this happened. But never fear, our royal family sorted all that out. Their survival instincts are very strong indeed. In 1917, they quietly dropped their name, Saxe, Coburg, Gotha, and instead proclaimed that from henceforth, they were to be known as the Windsors. That sounded much better and much more British. At the same time, the new surname, Mountbatten, suddenly appeared to cover up the fact that another significant branch of our royal family was actually known as the Battenbergs, no less. Her Majesty the Queen is from the saxe coburg gotha line, but when she married Philip, Prince of Greece and Denmark, it introduced yet another German connection because Philip is actually a member of the House of Schleswig-Holstein-Sondenberg-Glucksberg. So in a few weeks' time, in the Gothic splendour of Westminster Abbey, when the Archbishop of Canterbury asks Prince William if he will take Kate Middleton to be his wife, don't be surprised if you hear a quick yammer pass his lips as he stares lovingly at the bride, you see, Prince William just isn't quite as English as he seems. This is Ed Boyle for CBS News in London.